Good morning from New York City. Right now we are at the top of Manhattan at the Dykeman Street subway station. And the goal today is to make our way down all across the island to Battery Park, where we will hopefully see the sunset over the Statue of Liberty. But first, coffee. <laughs> So the route I planned today is about 15 miles and I have plotted a couple stops along the way. Google estimates that it should take about five hours and 15 minutes, but I'm guessing it's gonna take a lot longer than that. We got this, New York. And my back already hurts. I gotta pee already. I'm baffled. Right now it's like a balmy 35 degrees. So you know, I have my glove for the iced coffee, so it's okay, it's no problem. It's definitely a problem. It's way too cold for iced coffee right now. <laughs> oh, you stepped in it. <laughs> that okay. was fine. Okay, it was dry. You're lucky. <laughs> So we've been to New York City a couple times now and I think in your 20s it's a great city for glitz and glamour and drinking and going out. But now in our 30s we're into kind of the calmer side of things so this walk seemed to be a good way to explore the city. And one thing we love so much about it here is just how diverse it is. Like just in this first 30 minute stretch of our walk, you know, you see signs in Spanish, food from all over the world, you hear all sorts of different languages. It's just such a vibrant culture here. Mucho Spanish! <laughs> Go get the camera, I'm scared. Okay, our first meal of the day, we stop at a bagel shop on the way. Could I have an everything bagel toasted with scallion cream cheese, please? I think the main difference with bagels on the East Coast and the West Coast is the West Coast ones are like really fluffy and soft and the texture is just not as interesting. Whereas on the East Coast you kind of get like a crunchy shell and it's like a bit more dense and chewy. I really like that about it. I don't know what you say, it's just bagel. <laughs> Alright. Well, I'm almost done. Andale. Very impressive. Okay, check this out. Today we've walked 9,200 steps, but we're averaging 303 steps on our other days. So we're walking more today than the 303 steps that we normally average. Oh, that's just a little embarrassing, isn't it? <laughs> we made it to Harlem. It's one of the most historic and important African-American neighborhoods in the entire country. And right now we're in Hamilton Heights Historic District, which is known for its beautiful architecture, row houses. And a lot of these buildings were built in the late 1800s and early 1900s, and it's incredibly beautiful. So this townhouse is for sale, and I'm just gonna go on Google and see how much it's going for. Okay, so this one is a six bed and six bath, 4,290 square feet and it's only 3,895,000. So, I think that's pretty reasonable. What do you think? <laughs> Could move in tomorrow. I wanna live with a big piece of land where I can have a fish pond, a goat, some chickens, and that's
We just came from the south, so I'm really excited to be eating soul food again. Oh, this break was so much needed. We got some Jamaican stewed oxtails with collard greens and peas and rice. It smells so good. Just what we need to put a little pep in our steps. Mm. Oh, that's like melt in your mouth. It's like savory, just a little sweet. It's got all the seasonings. So good. Mm. Excellent. Was not expecting this. I'm baffled. We just paid $40 for a plate with oxtail. We just paid $40 for a fucking oxtail. I'm from Brazil. That would cost $3 over there. That in Brazil would cost $3. I'm a little bit shocked, but I guess it's New York. Was it good though? It was really good. It's just at not worth $40. At least it was good. Yes. Next stop is the iconic Central Park, one of the most famous parks in the entire world. Park is the oldest public park in the United States and upon walking here Lenza immediately was like it feels like we're in a movie because there's parts of it where you can see the high buildings in the background and it's just really beautiful and it is the most filmed park in the world probably so that's why it's an incredibly iconic spot. I don't know there's just something about New York. There's an energy here. It's been in so many movies and films. There's such a romanticized feeling to it. And it, it lives up to that for the most part. It's a little bit grimy, it's raw, but you really can do anything here, it feels like. The possibilities are endless. So I think that's what draws people here. Central Park takes up so much of the city that we'll spend an hour pretty much just walking through it alone. about halfway through our walk. We've done about 6.5 to 7 miles at this point and 19,471 steps. We're taking a little breather here with this amazing view in Central Park. Still got quite a ways to go. Two and a half hours on Google Maps, but lots of fun stuff coming. Oh. No, no, don't touch, don't touch. No, baby. Don't touch. Fucking, seriously? There's just a bee on you, leave it. No. Let me a... get it, let me get it. It's a nice one, you know? What the heck? What a beautiful place to get married. After Central Park, we're now in Midtown Manhattan, which is probably one of the densest parts of the city. We're surrounded by high rises, billboards. It's really busy. And walking across Manhattan definitely isn't boring because the change of scenery everywhere you go, there's people everywhere. And it's definitely a different vibe from Harlem and Central Park completely here. A lot of New Yorkers have mixed feelings about this part of town because it's a little bit of a shit show, it's a little gaudy, it's really touristy. But you have to admit, even if you dislike it, it's pretty impressive. Like right there, there's a huge line to go see The Late Show, which is a television show that many of us have been watching for years and years. 
Like things just happen here. Everything's just so big. There's always street performers here, and usually they're always just like teasing you, like they're like something really good is coming next and then they get the tips, they go around, they kind of do that again and again and so you're always waiting for that big reveal that never really comes. Stay through it, Jack guys. Who the hell is Tim? I'm glad you. Not his favorite place, Times Square. God, it's terrible here. Where you waste your time in the past. Where? 27,000, 27,000, or 27,000. <laughs> We're 27,000 steps down. I'm starting to get really tired. Like my lower back really hurts and all the restaurants we're passing are starting to look really delicious. Like, I just want to eat everything I see, like ice cream, sourdough bread, like whatever it is, just like shove it in my face. Me, I'm good. I'm feeling better now. I was feeling a little lower back pain in the beginning of the walk. But that's gone now and I'm feeling really good. So we're like kind of on the final stretch. Like two more hours to go. We've been taking a lot of breaks. Like we're really kind of taking our sweet time. But it's okay. Yeah, because we want to enjoy. We want to see the city. Yeah. The journey is the destination. Yeah. We're in New York, so we have to eat pizza. what you need after walking like 12 miles. That was so good. I'm like ready to keep walking now. Final stretch, baby. One more hour. We got this. We're actually set to exceed our goal. I think we're gonna get there before sunset, so by pizza. We started all the way at 190th Street and now we're at 9th. We're almost there. I'm not fat, it's just jacket. Okay. How long until we get there? 10 minutes. Financial district right now. We're passing through so many iconic spots, honestly, in New York, but I'm so goal oriented. I just want to get to the end so I can sit down and chill out that we're kind of just like blowing by them. But yeah, if you look around, it's pretty cool. The line for the balls is even longer than for the front of the bull. <laughs> Grab them huevos, man! <laughs> this is a violated ass bull right here. We're in the battery, and we're five minutes away to the Statue of Liberty viewpoint. We are wary. Tired, but we're almost there. <laughs> there she is, ladies and gentlemen. So I'm not in pain, it's fine. <laughs> oh, it smells like freedom over here. <laughs> this is what a man defeated by New York City looks like. 
feel my feet pulsing. <laughs> it feels really good to sit down. Okay, we're gonna do a quick final recap of our walk today. So my final step count today is 36,706. My final step is 33,952. It was really worth it. I would totally recommend it. And it's a really good way to see a lot of New York in a really short time, especially if you're in a time crunch or something. If you do this all in one day, you hit a lot of the major tourist attractions. We took nine hours to do it, but we were also taking our sweet time. For normal people who don't do that, maybe it'd be like six or seven hours, which is reasonable. It was totally worth it. And Looking forward to the next challenge. High five. What? <laughs> One thing I can say. New York got nothing on Dubai with the buildings, okay? Yeah.